Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about verifying position using an Excel program. Already I have uh, uploaded two videos on verifying position in two different methods. But I have been getting a lot of doubts and queries about uh, verification of position. So here is a simple method by which you can verify position. So I just briefly explain you about the two methods that I had already uh, given to you before going into this Excel program. So this, if this is the drawing indent, and on the for this drawing indent, if you get a part like this, then if you plot a graph on a paper with whatever is the positional tolerance value for that particular diameter. Then if you check whether the center of the actual hole is within the circle or outside the circle, then this is called a paper gauge method. If the point, the actual position is inside the circle, then we accept that hole. If the point is outside the circle, then we reject this hole. This being a very tedious process, uh, I had uh, given another method by which you can uh, check the verify the holes, which is in the form of a tabular column like this. Uh, this also a uh, lot of people got confused uh, and asked how do I get, uh, how do I tabulate this. So to overcome this problem, I have made a simple Excel program. I will be explaining to you and the link to download that Excel program is available in the description. Okay, this is the Excel program what I am referring to. We have divided this Excel program into two parts. On the right side, you find an example and on the left side is the one which you are going to use. So I have taken the same example of whatever I had shown in the video. Now we just keep on uh, uh, giving in the inputs to get the results. So the first uh, table is input table. The yellow shells are the input shells in which you can key in the details. So here you have to give the whole size, in the drawing the whole size is 10, plus tolerance is 0.1, minus tolerance is 0.1, actual hole if you take the first hole it is 9.9, .9. then uh, in, in the drawing the x direction is 15, y direction is 10, Actual x direction is 15.1, y direction is 10.1 and in the drawing the positional tolerance given is 0.3, so we key in 0.3. Then we have to see whether the maximum material condition modifier or regardless of which size apply. In this example it is maximum material condition modifier. I give this. So I get the results here and uh, this whole is acceptable. We take the next example also, this remains the same, 10.1.1, now hole 2 is 10.1, this is 45, 10, actual x is 45.2, actual y is 10.2, positional tolerance remains same, 0.3 and this is also the maximum material condition modifier. So here the tolerance of position should have been less than 0.5 or equal to 0.5 but it is more than 0.5 so we reject this. So just this would be an easy way of calculating the positional tolerance. Hope this was useful information.